In this review, we are going to be going over the Comica WM100. Okay, so this is really just a basic lav microphone. Uh, nothing too fancy going on. It does come in several kits. The kit that I have is just the one uh, transmitter and the one microphone that comes with it. It also comes with um, some belt clips, a 3.5 millimeter cable, um, a, a three and a half millimeter cable to a XLR, which is actually really good depending on your setup, um, whatever you're going into, maybe XLR only. So it's nice to have that option. You also get a dead cat with it and a cold shoe. So having all those things in one kit is actually really nice. Some of the highlights on this particular microphone, um, probably the biggest highlight is the distance you can go away from the microphone. I will not be doing a distance test. There are plenty of them out there. Literally every review I checked before I made this video, everyone was walking like 100 feet, 200 feet away. All you need to know is this microphone goes really far. You won't have any issues uh, with it um, being outside. It does come with a dead cat, like I said. So you really can be far away. You'd wanna be more of a, in a controlled environment. Um, maybe you're gonna be miking someone that's giving a presentation and they're like 100 feet away. That's kind of like the perfect scenario for this microphone because of the distance. Sometimes with Bluetooth microphones, they kind of max out at 50 feet or so, but this one gives you a much further range. All right, so batteries. I actually put that as a highlight in here because as mo the trend for most microphones these days is to have an internal uh, battery that charges, which is nice, it's a good thing, um, but it is nice to have a microphone where if the battery dies, you can just change it out and keep going. Um, you don't, there's no wait time or anything like that. And there's gonna be a lot of instances where if something dies, and it, especially if you only have one microphone, you don't have time to sit there and charge it. So I actually think it's a good thing to be able to, to swap those out but you do have to always remember to keep new batteries with you. Um, every time you, got, you go on a new project, make sure you're putting in new, fresh batteries. Um, I actually did not do that when I started this. Um, I made the mistake of making this whole video and I forgot to put new batteries in, I put old batteries in. Um, so microphone died. So learn from that excuse, learn from that problem. Funny enough, what I think one of the biggest highlights of this uh, microphone is, is the actual bag. Um, the bag is really nice. It's, you know, good quality bag. Um, it has a built, it has like a mold on the inside. So you can put the mics right in there and the transmitter right in there and it's safe and secure. I've actually never seen any bags for any microphones have that. Um, so that's actually kind of a unique feature you're getting with this really cheap, or I should say inexpensive microphone. And with that bag and setup, and something you probably don't think about all the time is professionalism. When you walk into your job, and you're gonna mic the person that you're supposed to, you kind of unzip your bag, and they see that everything is kind of in order and very nice, um, and it looks professional, and it gives a good impression to the people that you're actually working with. Those types of things, I mean, the people, they're, they're already gonna assume that the audio should be good, it should be going. They're not saying, oh, I wonder if this microphone's gonna be good quality. No, they're only seeing what you're showing them, and in, in this instance is this professional looking bag that you unzip, and it looks good. So people like that, and that's a good thing that Comica is actually doing with these mics. One thing I like to do in some of my reviews is I like to go over use cases um, and scenarios. For this microphone, I actually only recommend using it in an interview capacity. You know, maybe someone that's gonna be kind of perfectly mic'd, that's actually why I wore this shirt today for this uh, review. I wanted it to be perfect on like a lapel where it's gonna be where I would want it to be. I tried doing a review earlier with like a hoodie on or a jacket or my normal t-shirt. It kind of, it doesn't really fit. These lapel mics are made to be on a lapel or some type of nice clip like that. So I would recommend all, pretty much only using this type of microphone in a scenario where you can put it right on the person's, you know, collar or, or lapel, and that's gonna give you pretty much the best audio that you can get from it. If you're gonna be sitting at a desk or something like that, you're gonna be using something else. I mean, even a $100 Yeti microphone is gonna be better audio because you're able to get nice and close to it from a desk. So I wouldn't use a microphone like this for any type of use case like that, really just for interviews or when a speaker is kind of far away from you and you need to, to have good, clear audio from a long distance. That's where this microphone excels. So with that said, I, again, I recommend this microphone to anyone who's on a budget, maybe you're just starting out um, and you need some type of lav mic system that's gonna give you good quality and not kind of break the bank and still give you, like I said, that professionalism, this is the microphone for you. All right, well, that's it for this video. I will catch you guys in the next review. Uh, take care and later.